All right, guys. So we're gonna start putting on the the wheels for on the sliding gate. Um, I've never shown you guys how to do this before. This is gonna be my first video doing this. Um, let me put the camera the other way. So, all right, guys. So this is how we're gonna do it. We're a lot of welders, a lot of fabricators. They don't like to um do it like the way that I do it, the way that other that we do it, other people. Um they just like to come and weld it right here but that don't look right you know it's better if we cut it and slide it on top so therefore it could be shorter and it won't be a big gap in the bottom and it could be a smaller gap you know what i mean so that's what we're gonna do all right guys so the way that i do it i'm basically gonna measure from here over here i'm gonna measure two feet and a half you know what, I'm going to go two feet. I'm going to do it two feet better. All right? So right here is going to be two feet. And same thing on the other side. We're going to do it two feet in. So we're going to move it. We're going to grab the other wheel. And we're going to make sure that it's two feet as well. Over here. Over here. I think we're gonna go two feet and a half. Two feet and a half is great. <coughs> I'm using a rod. I just sharpened it out. That's how I mark it down. It, it marks it down where it's supposed to be. And you know, I never have a problem doing that. Now come back to this side. Same thing right here. We're gonna go two feet and a half. Right here. Once it's two feet and a half, we're gonna mark it down. Same thing, same process. As you guys can see, I'm gonna move it over here so you guys can see better. It's already marked down. Right here and over here. Alright guys, now what I'm gonna do now that I marked it down from the top, I, I need to unclamp it, take out the clamps, all four corners, and move the gate down a little bit. Therefore I'm able to cut um, all the way through All right guys, so this is what it's supposed to look like. If it don't look like this, something's wrong. Remember, you just wanna cut right here, right here, and right here. You don't wanna go all around. As you guys can see, I still have my square tubing from the top. So we just cut it like a C, and then we just cut it right here. 
so this wheel could fit perfectly fine in there all right guys so remember that's a great way to do it you don't want it to be looking all retarded all dumb you know that's the great way to do it i've seen some gates where where they just come and slap them on right here that looks pretty not professional you know you want your work to be professional so you can get recommended All right guys, so these are the wood slats that we're gonna be using for this fence. Um, I like to get these wood slats. I get them off of Home Depot. So basically what we're gonna be doing, the wood slat, it is a little big. So we're gonna be cutting it to the size that it's supposed to be. All right, so that's one wood slat. We're gonna cut it, I already marked it down right here. But we're gonna be using the square so we can get a nice straight line and cut it right where it's supposed to be. So this is the piece that we cut. So now it should be nice and clean. Boom. I'm gonna bring you guys over here so you guys can see how you're supposed to do this. I mean, this is how I do it. Boom, you see? So that's what we're gonna do to all the wood all across. And at the end of the video, we're gonna put a flat bar, but step by step. Before you put the machine away, you could cut it if it doesn't fit. Alright guys, so check it out. This is what they look like. These are wood slats. They slide into each other so there won't be a gap. Alright? Those are called wood slats. So we're going to be doing that to the whole gate. guys so here we have our sliding gate we got the one and a half inch square tubing that we started with the top the bottom and the sides on the bottom of this wood underneath we put the flat bar which is holding the wood 
into place all this we're gonna grind it down so over here on this side we're gonna put another flat bar so it could keep the wood in place but yeah guys we still have to stain it put some polyurethane and uh, yeah man go install it just stay tuned I'll probably make a video a part three on how to install um but yeah man we're not done yet we st we're still gonna paint the frame and we still have to stain the wood and put it back on so yeah guys you want to build the gate the sliding gate now that you know how to put on the wheels this is how we do it I, lately i've been getting um wood woodwork normally i wouldn't um get a lot of woodwork but because customers started asking for it a lot so i decided to um, lean forward take a step forward and um start um fabricating iron gates with wood slats which they look very beautiful very nice um i mean every day i try to better my work you know every day but this is what we got going on so far yes sir all right guys so basically right now what i'm doing i'm already staining the wood we're using this little stance that i bought off of home depot to stain these wood slats these are the wood slats that are going to be on the gate i'm staining them now this is this is a mcgraw that i'll be using today an eight gallon you don't need nothing big nothing expensive that works perfectly fine so yeah guys this is what we're doing now Alright guys, so right here what I'm doing, I'm just staining the wood, as you guys can see, it's nice and wet. Um, if you guys liked my video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the bell button. Thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for subscribing. Until next time.